Hello, this is Andrew Kolsky from StopMyOCD.com. In this video, I want to answer a question that a lot of clients seem to have. The question is, is there medication for OCD? Well, let's talk about a couple things first. I am a licensed professional counselor, former attorney, and I work primarily with OCD and anxiety treatment. You can find out more about OCD and about me at www.stopmyocd.com. Additionally, I am not a medical doctor and I do not offer medical advice. The following information in this video is about OCD medication and it's provided solely for the purpose of assisting you in having a conversation with your prescribing doctor. You should never take medication without a proper prescription from your doctor. If you do not have the benefit of a proper medical exam, you may experience medication interactions or side effects that can be dangerous if trying to self-medicate. So please, if you're considering medication, see a licensed doctor and follow their advice. Now, having said that, many of my patients are able to receive a lot of relief from OCD through therapy alone. The most common therapy is exposure and response prevention. Although every therapist has their own little twist on it, I do some doubt reduction as well that I find to be very helpful. So many patients are able to do therapy alone and achieve significant relief from OCD. Another thing that's important to know is OCD is not something that is cured. So you don't take a medication and it goes away like a common infection or something, but OCD can be very effectively managed. There are some patients who do benefit from adding medication into a proper therapeutic response, but taking medication alone is typically not the best way to address OCD symptoms. So if you are someone who is considering medication, let's take a look at the types of medications that are used. The first one is SSRIs, and that stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. They're a class of medication that are commonly used to treat OCD, and they work by increasing the level of serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter, in the brain. Serotonin is involved in regulating mood, emotions, and various psychological processes. In individuals with OCD, there may be an imbalance in serotonin levels or an abnormality in how the brain processes serotonin. SSRIs help alleviate OCD symptoms by blocking the reuptake of serotonin in the brain, which increases the concentration of serotonin available for transmission between neurons. This leads to enhanced serotonin activity in certain brain regions, which helps to regulate mood and reduce obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors. So what are some of the common SSRIs? We've got Prozac, fluoxetine, Zoloft, sertraline, Luvox, fluvoxamine, Paxil, peroxetine, Celexa, citalopram, and Lexapro, S-citalopram. These are the common SSRIs that you may wish to discuss with your doctor. In addition, there are SNRIs, which stands for serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, and that's another class of medications that can be used to treat OCD. They work by increasing the levels of both serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. Norepinephrine is another neurotransmitter involved in regulating mood, arousal, and various cognitive functions. While the exact mechanisms by which SNRIs alleviate OCD symptoms are not fully understood, it's believed that the increased levels of serotonin and norepinephrine contribute to the therapeutic effects. Similar to SSRIs, SNRIs prevent the reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine, which leads to higher concentrations of these neurotransmitters in the synaptic space between neurons. The enhanced activity of serotonin and norepinephrine in certain brain regions is thought to regulate mood, reduce anxiety, and regulate certain cognitive processes, ultimately helping to alleviate obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors associated with OCD. So what are the common SNRIs? We've got Effexor, Venlafaxine, and Cymbalta, Duloxetine. Next, we look at the TCAs, or tricyclic antidepressants. That's another class of medication that can be used to treat OCD, although they're less commonly prescribed compared to the SSRIs and SNRIs. 
TCAs are thought to exert their therapeutic effects by affecting the balance of several neurotransmitters in the brain, including serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. In the case of OCD, TCAs primarily increase the levels of serotonin in the brain by blocking the reuptake of serotonin. By inhibiting the reuptake process, TCAs allow serotonin to remain in the synaptic space between neurons for a longer period, which enhances serotonin signaling and transmission. This increase in serotonin activity is believed to modulate mood, decrease anxiety, and reduce obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors associated with OCD. Additionally, TCAs may also have an impact on norepinephrine and dopamine levels, although the specific mechanisms are not fully understood. These additional effects on other neurotransmitters may contribute to the overall therapeutic effects of TCAs in treating OCD. It's important to note that TCAs often have a broader range of side effects compared to newer antidepressant classes like SSRIs and SNRIs. Therefore, they're typically prescribed when other treatment options have been ineffective or not well tolerated. Close monitoring by a healthcare professional is necessary to determine the appropriate dosage and evaluate the response to treatment. TCAs are anaphronil, clomipramine, and tofranil, imipramine. Finally, other depressants that exist are bupropion, which is wellbutrin or mirtazapine remeron. Then there are benzodiazepines, which are short-term relief that can be used in combination with other medications, such as clonopin, clonazepam, and ativan, lorazepam. So there's a briefing on the medications that you can discuss with your doctor if you're considering medications for OCD. Please uh, visit us at stopmyocd.com if you'd like to join a free support group for OCD or to gather additional information. I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to this video so that we can get this message out to more people. Thank you for your time.